Hi, my name is Ken Lasterson, and I'm just fixed a bug and added actually two features together, which hopefully will be of help for those who are families where multiple people in a family have microbiome samples, as well as a few clinicians who are using the site with multiple people. And if you go to the new drop down, you see a whole bunch of samples, but then you will see down below additional samples. And the samples are based on who shared access to their sample on the site to me. And people who granted me explicit permission. So there's sort of two ways of doing it. But the important thing is we also have a new way which is there <clears throat> and what do we have is we have the ability to group collection of samples under a name it could be an email which is nice or it could be just a name now how do you do it how do you get this nice feature working for the way you want to work very simple go over to sample maintenance there was a bug that the update button wasn't actually working so there you have all the samples which you own. You are the uploader. You only can change people who you are the uploader of. If it's a share from somebody else who owns a sample, you can't change it. They'll show up underneath the email of the original owner. Um, so we have here we have a bunch of you biome samples from ages ago. And what I'm going to do is, if you take a look here, <clears throat> I have five. You buy them samples listed and if you go down here i have one two three four five and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and move all of these you buy samples which are ancient just by putting oops making sure the spelling is done because it done it's done by matching names and there we see we have changed it and we go back down and we go you buy them and now if we go back here and take a look, everybody is now in the U-Biome, sweet as that. So you can now organize your wives, your daughters, your sons' samples into a group rather than going in the old order, which was simply from the oldest to the newest. Now you can actually group it, and within each group, it is ordered from the um, newest backward to the oldest all the way through. And all this is determined by when it was uploaded. So it's not necessarily the sample date, but when it was uploaded, which usually is a good proxy. So that is basically it. You can go in and it, if you being shared, then it will be underneath the, the email of the person who shared it to you. Makes life easy there. If you hasn't been, if it's something you have uploaded on behalf of a client or a family member, you can now group it into groups by just putting in the client email, be it their email or their um, nickname. And in time, if people request it, I will add the ability, if an email is here, for an email to be sent to the person saying, hey, you can go and take a look at your data and it will be done for that person's data only when they log in. So um, that is a very short, quick, example. So enjoy, make good use of it, and have fun.